Jean-Baptiste de Gribauval of the 18th century helped standardize artillery design. He developed a 16-inch, 150mm field howitzer and made it the standard of the French army. This improved manufacture, maintenance and repair. At the time of the introduction of the flintlock to small arms, it too was utilized in cannon design and improved the ignition system. By 1789, the manufacture, deployment and use of field artillery was down to a fine art. Particularly by one ex-artillery officer in the French army, by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte. From here, the technology of metallurgy, chemistry and design led to improvements in artillery. Breech loading was becoming feasible by the 1880s. The first truly modern cannon was deployed in 1897 by French forces, the Model 75. It was highly mobile and breech loading with cased ammunition, modern sights and a self-contained firing mechanism. Cannon was smooth bore, which restricted the weapon's range and accuracy. The machinery to accurately rifle a cannon barrel did not arrive until the 19th century. Cavelli, Warendorf and Whitworth all independently produced rifled cannon in the 1840s. But these guns did not see widespread use until the latter stages of the American Civil War, when designs such as the Rodman guns came to prominence. Two main uses of artillery were forming. The small light howitzer cannon that remained with and were utilized for the support of infantry, and the much larger, heavier cannon that was used from some distance away for indirect and harassing fire. The improvement of communications was a key to this newer usage and the development of forward observation posts to help direct fire. During the American Civil War on July the 1st, 1862, General Lee launched an attack on Major General McClellan's forces positioned on Malvern Hill. The Confederates suffered 5,300 casualties and gained no ground whatsoever due to McClellan's use of artillery. McClellan then withdrew his forces to Harrison's Landing, where heavily armed gunboats protected them. The American Civil War was the last major conflict to employ Napoleonic tactics and methods of warfare. The introduction of new technology was turning armed conflict into something never seen before. The mechanization of weapons and increased firepower were obliterating the soldier on the field. New weapons required new tactics and new methodologies. Unfortunately, it would take two more conflicts and a great loss of life before these lessons were learned. The French Schneider 75mm quickfire cannon of 1897 was the precursor of most modern field artillery. Its dual hydraulic recoil system kept the carriage perfectly still during shots, negating the need to reseat or re-aim the gun, which could fire 20 to 30 rounds per minute. Known as the French 75, its official name was Matériel de 75 mm 1897. It was ahead of its time, and it took German and British gun designers years to catch up. The Russian 1902 Putilov field gun was developed for the conflict against Japan. It incorporated the latest in technology of the time. Chambered for 76.2 mm ammunition, it had carriage recoil devices fitted with transverse and elevation tracking mechanisms and precision sighting capability. Referred to as the three-incher, it was well accepted into the military and proved a reliable divisional artillery piece. It survived several wars, including World War II, where modified versions were used by Soviet and other forces. 